and a special greeting to our Facebook and YouTube followers. You are now watching Headline News Update, your source for trending news stories from Guyana, the region, and beyond. Let's start things off today with local politics. Online news publication Demerara Waves reports that opposition leader Barajagdio denies prior knowledge of former AFC parliamentarian Charan Das Prasad's intention to cross party lines during last month's no confidence motion. According to Jagdio, Dr. Peter Ramsarup, the man who provided security for Prasad, never told him of the recalled lawmaker's plan either. In response to a question by Demerara Waves Online News, Jagdio said, quote, no, he did not, and, as I said before, Peter Ramsrup is free to have friends wherever he wants." End quote. The No Confidence motion was sponsored by Jagdio, but the PPP leader said Ramsrup assisted Prasad in his personal capacity. However, it should be noted that Ramsrup is married to the opposition leader's niece and did run during the 2015 general elections under the PPP banner. And in health news, Port health officers working at ports of entries in Guyana were trained as part of measures to tackle any possible cases of H1N1 influenza or swine flu borne by travelers entering Guyana. This is according to Chief Medical Officer of the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Shamdio Prasad, who said that Guyana is embarking on strict measures and efforts to prevent the infection from taking root in the country. Dr. Prasad indicated that there have been reports of positive H1N1 cases in the Caribbean region. H1N1 is a flu virus commonly referred to as swine flu. The World Health Organization notes that it emerged in 2009. Since then, countries have been ensuring that their health systems are on guard against the scourge. Now, let's take a look at the region. Guatemala's constitutional court has suspended a decision by the government to kick out a UN body that was investigating the country's president. The commission was investigating President Jimmy Morales over alleged funding irregularities during his 2015 election campaign. He has accused it of acting illegally and undermining Guatemalan sovereignty. But in the early hours of Wednesday, the country's top court suspended the government's decision. The judges reached the decision after eight hours of deliberation overnight. And in international news, a Nepali mother and her two children have been found dead after the woman was banished to a, quote, menstruation hut. She had lit a fire to keep her and her two young sons warm during the bitterly cold night. All three are suspected to have died in their sleep due to smoke inhalation, officials told BBC Nepali. The traditional practice of exiling menstruating women from the family home is banned in Nepal, but it is still widely practiced in rural areas. This case is not the first tragedy to have occurred when women have been sent to sleep in the huts, a practice known as chuapadi that has been criminalized since 2017 in the country. Under the ancient practice linked to Hinduism, women who have their periods or who have just given birth are seen as impure or as bringers of bad luck and can be forced to sleep in huts or cattle sheds. And here's your viral clip of the day. A Filipino bride had her caterer arrested after being given a wedding cake made of styrofoam. According to the Associated she and her wedding party immediately went to the nearest police station where the caterer, Krisa Kanea, seen in the video, was also dragged. And that's all for this edition of Headline News Update. Visit our website, headlinenewsgana.com. There you can find more news, information, and a whole lot of good stuff that we couldn't fit on the show. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Also, we'll have another episode of Headline News Update tomorrow at 1, and be sure to check us out tonight at 7 p.m. for Headline News. Till then, see you tomorrow.